morning. I'm tired. <laughs> So hi, I am on my way to get my stitches out. Yay! I don't really know how to feel about it. I'm kind of happy because they're starting to really itch and annoy me and I want like the bandages to come off and just to not have bandages on me anymore. But at the same time, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if it's going to hurt. I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know. What happens when you get stitches out? I feel like like they're gonna cut the stitch and I'm just gonna start gushing blood everywhere like it's ridiculous but that's the mental picture that I have in my head so <laughs> that doesn't make me feel all that great about going today I'm kind of interested to see what like the scars look like once the stitches are out like what the actual incisions look like if they're really noticeable or if they're like distended or anything like that because I feel like at the moment when I feel like the bandages are feel the cut like there's a bump so but I feel like that's just the stitch so I'd be interested to see what it feels like without the stitch in there I am just rambling because I'm not sure what's gonna happen <laughs> worst kind of nervous is when you don't know what's gonna happen at all like you have no expectation at all people might think that oh no no if you know it's gonna hurt then it's worse well no because you can like prepare yourself for it but if you have no idea, if for one, if it's going to hurt, for two, what it's going to look like, for three, what they're even going to do to get the stitches out, it's a little bit worse, I think. Anyway, I'm rambling a lot. That lovely experience is over. I've got my stitches out now. Um, it wasn't too bad. It was just uncomfortable and weird. Like, And even now, I feel like empty, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, but yeah the the one that probably hurt the most is my belly button because it's kind of bruised and sore so when she was tugging at it it hurt and I felt like like when I winced and then like pulled away she kind of looked at me like what are you wincing about and I was just like oh sorry it was just a bit of a tug and she's like okay like she said it in such a derogatory tone that I was just like do you not understand that this for someone that's never had stitches at before which I did tell her when I got in there, I'm like, I'm just a little on edge because I haven't had stitches out before. I know it's probably not going to hurt that much, but I'm just a little bit, you know, nervous about it. And she still was kind of like, I don't know, like, oh, okay. Alrighty, so home and feeling very, very sore and like crampy kind of, I don't know. And I just noticed there's actually like quite a bit of blood on my top. Well, not... That's kind of exaggeration, but there's blood on my top and that's, I don't like seeing blood. Um, <laughs> um, if you are squeamish, I'd probably look away now, but I'm just going to show you what the um, incision looks like. So yeah, look away now. Oh. So that's the stitch, or the incision, right there. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like at the moment. It's kind of hurting a little bit. <sighs> I just feel like gross, like I've got cuts in my body. Who, yeah, I've got four cuts, one on my right side and then I've got one on my left side, one on my belly button and one a bit closer to like my pelvic bone area. Yeah, ouch. Um, so we just got a, so an order just came through. Um, we ordered, I think some uh, cat food actually for Max because he's specialty cat food. We ran out of it and he needed, some more so instead of paying you know bucket loads through the vet which is charges extra we just ordered it online so this is his food it's a hill science diet zd Lu allergen so it basically means that um it's got really small bits of protein in it which makes it easy for him to digest because with his ibd thing he um, sometimes has difficulty digesting the protein in food and it can give him problems like um, stomach and intestine problems. So yay for having <laughs> a cat that has intestine problems. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's a good thing we love him. So I was just happily trying to like look on the computer for something <laughs> and all of a sudden like from behind me, there's no one here, no one else is home, I just hear this. 
and I turn around and it's Max. <laughs> yeah, you. You creepy little boy. <laughs> Getting up onto the piano and scaring the crap out of me. Alright, so. Crap. <laughs> so I just uh, noticed that one of my incisions is bleeding quite a lot at the moment. Uh, I'm like kind of in panic mode. I'm trying not to sort of panic because it's not excessive. It hurts, but it's not like an excessive amount of blood. It's just scary because I'm like, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want it to be like popping open. <laughs> I really don't want that to happen. So <laughs> don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I'm just trying to, as I say, calm myself. A little bit and I've just got some tissue sitting on the cut just trying to put some pressure on it <sighs> kind of freaking out I think I'm gonna have to put like a band-aid on it or something and hope that that works uh, okay panic mode over I am calm I am relaxed I'm okay I've got a band-aid on it. I, I couldn't tell. It's still kind of like slightly bleeding, but I'm hoping that the band-aid will make it relax a little bit and I think I'm just going to sit down and just do nothing for a little bit. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I don't know. I just... Panic needs to calm down. <laughs> oh really, Fifi? Oh really? Is that better? Huh? Alrighty, so I am preparing some dinner for tonight. I'm gonna make the risotto. Another meal that I'm actually kind of proud of that I've learnt the recipe to. Anyway, um, part of the risotto is like wine. You put wine in it, kind of give it that extra taste. Then I've got like, this bottle here that to open. I hate opening bottles that need like a cork. So, I. I don't know why I didn't do this, but I didn't look at the actual bottle and because I don't know wine, I don't know what wine is, so I just looked at the bottle and I'm like, yeah, sure, that's wine. And I went to, you know, tip it in without smelling it or looking at it. And it was red wine. And this recipe calls for white wine for one. And for two, when you put red wine with white arborio rice, you get this. Purple rice. I'm making purple risotto. <laughs> I really hope it tastes good because, you know, it smells good. So, I mean, the fact that it's purple shouldn't mean that it won't taste good. Because it still smells good and the red wine is still like nice in risotto because I've had like red wine risottos before, but it's purple and I'm kind of... Uh, <laughs> You ready for some purple risotto? <laughs> what happened to it? I accidentally used red wine instead of white wine. <laughs> that looks like dog food. It's not dog food. It doesn't look that bad. How's the purple risotto? <laughs> it's good. Is it really? You're just saying that to be nice to me. It's the same. Really? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> It's just a matter of it being purple. <laughs> it doesn't look too bad, it just looks a bit mushy. That's it there. I have been killing it today with my university stuff. I just smashed out like five discussion points. Yeah, like five, which is in total like 750 words or something. It's ridiculous. Um, and each of those discussion points had like two references to them. Some of them from the readings and some of them that I sourced myself. So it's been a big day. It's been about like five hours of just full on uni study. <laughs> okay, so going to um, end the vlog here. I, uh, I've been kind of organising about to get dark, sorry. Can I fix it quickly? No, I can't. That's awkward. It's awkward for you how dark it is right now. Yes, that kind of helps. Wait for it. There we go. Okay. So, I have just been um, organizing the study a little bit, trying to sort of organize my study area a bit more uh, in preparation of like assessments, like actual assessments that I've got coming up. I need to 
have a good sort of study space for that. Um, and I think I did a pretty good job at organising it. I've got kind of everything down here in their place and then I've got like all of my relevant stuff that I need to do in that corner, <laughs> including a wedding folder, yes. Um, and then like a little to-do tray thing. I've got to get a blood test actually, I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. I've still got this big pile of like filing to do, which I think I'm just going to have to do next week. <laughs> Providing insight to something Ray does quite a bit. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> So you want to say goodnight? No, no. Thank you. Are you winning at least? Mm, yeah, kind of. Sure. I hate that. You, you never say yes or no. It's always like a, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. The question for today's video is, have you ever had stitches? Um, and if you have, tell me about your experiences with them because it's just weird for me to have stitches because I've never had them before. So it was just a freak out moment for me today when I thought my insides were pouring out when it was just like a little bit of blood. <laughs> yeah, I think this video had a lot of me panicking in it. So just an insight to my reaction to things. Let me know down below what your experiences was. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already, putting out videos every single day of the week. And thank you for watching. Good morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is where you are right now. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs>